So, you're the head councilman of this utopia? Yes, that is correct. What is the society like? Well, I would call it nice and very calm. Expand on this a little bit. Oh, well, uh, besides nice and calm, I would say that there's no violence whatsoever in our society, and we are 100% pacifist. What happens if there is an attack on your um, town, from maybe in our country, and you have no military or police to protect you guys? Well, since we are off the coast of Canada, we are protected by the people, and so we're connected with the military in Canada, so we don't have much to worry about, eh? Uh, what? What do people in this town do in their free time? Well, it's not much different than any other town. Our town is, although, kind of special. Uh, most of the time we do go outside to play sports, such as curling. And <laughs> there's nothing different, really. Do you have a lot of other interactions with other countries? Uh, yes, we are in a current trading business with China and England, and also with Japan. And this is where we get most of our goods, products, and electronics. What other, um, what other beliefs do you guys believe in, like religion-wise? Well, the founder of our island was Leif Erikson, who converted to Christianity. So most of us are Christian, but we don't uh, make Jewish or other religious people. Alright. Go ahead. So, what are some important tourist attractions in this town? Well, some of them would be uh, the underground farms. Very proud of them. And they're probably the thing that makes our island sustainable. Yeah. Um, an underground farm, though? How do the plants get light? Well, we mostly have uh, solar lights for our underground farm. They run 100% on solar power from the sun. Uh, we have wires that connect them to the outside where we get our power. And we also have animals that we raise in barns, and we have a certain climate control system so that way they don't all die from the Canadian cold blizzards and all the other things. And the combination of these animals and the farms creates maximum productivity. Okay, so what about other attractions? Well, some other attractions would be the third Monday of June, coming up soon, where we celebrate the school's closing for the summer with our annual end of the year parade that lasts a whole week. So during the celebration, there's obviously no school and nobody works during this week. Uh, we offer a big feast and a lot of sporting events and anybody who wants to come can come. Okay, thank you for speaking with us, Head Councilman Joseph. Well, thanks for having me, eh?